Lisbon is known for its stunning architecture, colorful exteriors embellished with beautifully detailed ceramic tiles, and the sounds of paddle music that unveil the city's deepest emotions. So if you're planning to visit this historic and vibrant destination, stay tuned, because today I'll unveil the top 10 things you need to know to help you plan your trip. Before we begin, I'm curious to know, what are your favorite kinds of travel videos? Feel free to let me know in the comments below so I can keep creating more content you love to watch. Number 10, best time to visit. Lisbon experiences a Mediterranean climate, which means hot, dry summers and mild, wet winters. The best time to visit is during spring, April to June, and autumn, September to November, when the weather is pleasant and the city is less crowded. These seasons offer comfortably warm temperatures and also present financial advantages compared to the peak summer season. Accommodations tend to be more affordable, flights may come with lower price tags, and various tourist activities may offer cost-effective options, allowing you to explore Lisbon's attractions without breaking the bank. Number 9. Must-Visit Attractions Lisbon is filled with a diversity of breathtaking landmarks and places. Among my favorites is the iconic San George Castle, offering a beautifully captivating experience at sunset, as well as the Belém Tower and the Geronimo's Monastery, both UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Equally popular among tourists is a journey on Tram 28 and taking the San Justa elevator. When it comes to museums, my personal favorites include the Azulejo, the Tram, and the renowned Couch Museums. Number 8. Getting around the city Lisbon, known for its pedestrian-friendly design, offers a diverse array of transportation to suit individual preferences. The city's efficient public transport system includes buses, metros, trams, and the iconic yellow funiculars. A single journey costs three euros or less than two euros when utilizing a top-up card. For a convenient and cost-effective alternative, Uber services are easily accessible, providing comfortable and safe transportation within the city center at a low cost of four to six euros per ride. For a more unique experience, consider exploring Lisbon on an electric bike or Segway. You'll effortlessly glide through the city's highly terrain while immersing yourself in its rich history. Number 7. Local Cuisine and Dining Etiquette Lisbon's culinary scene reflects the rich gastronomic heritage of Portugal. Make sure to try iconic dishes such as bacalao brass and the famous pastel di nata. In Lisbon, dining is a social affair marked by a relaxed approach to meals. Locals often enhance this communal experience by sharing small plates with friends while enjoying a glass of Portuguese wine. Leaving a small tip for good service is customary, typically around 5 to 10% of the bill, but not mandatory, as a service charge is often included in the total. Number 6. Safety and Security Lisbon stands out as a safe and secure destination for visitors. The city maintains a generally low crime rate. However, like any major city center, it's advisable to stay vigilant in crowded areas to prevent petty crimes. Number 5. Portuguese Language and Basic Phrases while many locals in Lisbon speak English, learning a few basic Portuguese phrases can go a long way in connecting with the locals. Start with simple greetings like bom dia for good morning, obrigado if spoken by a male and obrigada if spoken by a female for thank you and you're welcome, and por favor for please. The effort to communicate in their language is always appreciated and well received. Number 4. Explore Beyond the City Portugal's rich history and natural beauty invite travelers to explore the outskirts of the city. A short train ride journey leads to the fairy tale town of Sintra, where you'll discover palaces, 
lush gardens, the famous Moorish castle, and my favorite, Quinta da Raguelera. Nearby, the coastal town of Cascais offers a refreshing escape with its sandy beaches and vibrant marina, ideal to relax after visiting Sintra. Number three, Fado music. Originating in Lisbon, Fado is characterized by mournful tunes and the hunting melodies of guitars. For an authentic Fado experience, head to Barro Alto, where intimate Fado houses like Café Lusso and smaller establishment like Tasca da Tia Macheta captivate audiences with live performances. On the other hand, in Alfama, try Faro na Morgadinha as well as Alfama Grill, two renowned spots for unpretentious yet authentic performances. Number two, currency and payment. The currency used in Lisbon is the euros. Most businesses accept major credit cards, but it's advisable to carry some cash for small purchases and places that might not accept cards. Overall, some places are cards only, like Time Out Market, and some bars cash only, so be sure to have both at all times. ATMs are widely available throughout the city, allowing you to withdraw cash as needed. Number one, get a city pass. The Lisbon city pass is conveniently available for purchase, either online or at multiple tourist information centers scattered throughout the city. This card includes free admission to renowned landmarks, such as the Torre de Belém, Geronimo's Monastery, and the San Justa Elevator, along with access to various museums and public transportation. With flexible durations to suit all travelers, you can choose between 24, 48, and 72 hours. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my travel guides and adventures in Lisbon, as well as other exciting destinations. Keep on traveling, and I will see you guys in the next video.